Introduction to Arduino. In this video, we will learn about the basic operations of Arduino and its applications. Let's begin with the introduction to microcontroller. Hello, innovators. Did you know that each one of us is using at least 20 microcontrollers in our house? Well, that's a fact. Your electrical appliances, computer keyboards, all consist of an inbuilt circuit called microcontroller. And these are present everywhere around us. There are more than 2 billion microcontrollers being produced every year. We will share with you some interesting details about microcontrollers and how they work. The learning outcome of this video, what is a microcontroller, history of microcontrollers, how does a microcontroller work, applications of a microcontroller, different types of microcontrollers, what is Arduino, specification of Arduino Uno, and how to download Arduino IDE. So now let us see what is a microcontroller. A microcontroller is an integrated circuit. It functions the same way as a miniature computer that comes in variety of packages and sizes. Microcontrollers are everywhere. Whether you're driving your car, working on your computer or smartphone or tablet, or making a cup of coffee using your coffee machine, microcontrollers are present everywhere around you. Now most microcontrollers contain at least three key components. One is the processor core, which acts as a brain of the microcontroller. The second is the memory, which contains instructions that tell the brain what to do. And the third is input and output for processing external peripherals. How did this idea of a microcontroller emerge? What is the invention story of this powerful chip? Well, it was during 1970s, after the microprocessors were introduced, that a need for a single hardware chip was felt, which would contain all the functions and hardware for a complete computer system. Gary Boone of Texas Instruments was working on quite a similar concept and invented the microcontroller. Boone designed a single integrated circuit chip that could hold nearly all the essential circuits to form a calculator. Now let's look at how a microcontroller works. We will understand the functioning of a microcontroller with the help of an example of a mother bird collecting worms for her chicks, as you can see on the screen. Here, each worm represents an operation. The core, or the chicks in this case, execute an operation while the next one is being fetched. This simultaneous fetching and execution is called a pipeline and it is a faster and a more efficient way. Let's see the full cycle of a microcontroller. First, an operation is fetched from the program memory. This operation will access the data from temporary storage for inputs and outputs as ones or zeros. This operation is then executed by the processor core as the next instruction is simultaneously being fetched. The new instructions are fetched and then executed and this cycle repeats until the board finishes its running. And when the microcontroller reset, the entire cycle starts again. Microcontrollers are used in most modern electronic devices that we use on an everyday basis. For example, let's take a look at the key of your car. You press a button and the car unlocks. But have you ever wondered how this works? Let us share it with you. A key, like a microcontroller, contains at least three main components. The buttons, the microcontroller itself, and a transmitter. Now when a button is pressed, it sends a signal directly to the microcontroller and the microcontroller runs the specific task and the car unlocks. 
there are different types of microcontrollers around us and based on different architectures the names of a few are AVR based microcontroller PIC based microcontroller ARM based microcontroller and many more getting started with Arduino let us discuss Arduino microcontroller launched by AVR let's talk about what is Arduino Arduino Uno is a microcontroller board based on 8-bit Atmega 328p microcontroller. It can read inputs and then convert it into outputs. It can even run a program you write on your computer. You can control real-world hardware lights, motors and other computers using this. You can interface temperature sensors, accelerometer, GPS and a lot of other things. There are many types of Arduino boards available in the market, but all the boards have one thing in common, that they can be programmed using Arduino IDE. The reasons for different types of boards is different power supply requirements of each of them, connectivity options, their applications, etc. Arduino boards are available in different sizes, form factors, different number of input-output pins, etc. There are different types of Arduino. Some of them are Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, Arduino Nano, Arduino Lilypad, and many more. Arduino Uno Arduino Uno is a basic and inexpensive Arduino board and is the most popular of all Arduino boards. This board is considered to be the best prototyping board for beginners in electronics and coding. Arduino Mega The Arduino Mega is like the Arduino Uno's big brother. It has 54 digital input-output pins, 16 analog inputs, a USB connection, a power jack, and a reset button. It contains everything needed to support the microcontroller. Arduino Nano The Arduino Nano is a small, complete and breadboard friendly board based on the Atmega 328, Arduino Nano 3X. It has more or less the same functionality of the Arduino Duamilino, but in a different package. It lacks only a DC power jack and works with a mini B USB cable instead of a standard one. Arduino Lilypad Arduino Lilypad was creatively designed with large connecting pads and a flat back to allow them to be sewn into clothing with a conductive thread. The Lilypad also has its own family of input, output, power and sensor boards that are also built specifically for e-textiles. They are even washable. So how does Arduino work? Arduino works as a human brain. Just like the human brain reacts on inputs that are coming from different sense organs like eyes, nose, tongue, etc. The brain takes this input from our sense organs and after processing the input signal, it provides an output signal to our hands, legs, other organs, etc. Similarly, Arduino also takes inputs from the external sensors and after processing the input signal, it transfers an output signal to the actuators. So let's see what are the specifications of Arduino Uno. Here we have a microcontroller at Mega 328P, which is the brain of Arduino board. This is the reset switch to start the program again from the beginning. The operating voltage of the board is 5 volt. We have 14 digital input output pins, out of which 6 are PWM pins that is pulse width modulation. Apart from this, we have six analog input output pins A0 to A5, 
These are used to read analog input in the range of 0 to 5 volt from sensors like pressure, temperature, humidity, etc. We also have power pins that is 5 volt, 3.3 volt and ground pins to provide power to the sensor connected with the board. The input voltage given to the board is between 7 to 12 volt which is connected either through a USB to upload the program or for power supply and a DC jack for external power supply. Can you imagine that you can make your own Arduino board as well just like the Arduino board that was first made in Italy? Yes, that is possible. Arduino is an open hardware development board and all the components are free to buy and use. So you too can gather all the components and make your own board and name it whatever you feel like. You can also take the help of the data sheets and the circuit design of Arduino Uno. Let's see how we can download the schematic of Arduino Uno. Type arduino.cc in the web browser. Once you enter the official website of Arduino, you will see that a lot of information is given about Arduino like web editor or Arduino education or community day celebration and many more such topics. You can also see different icons at the top of the page about all kinds of available hardware options for Arduino projects. You can also see the different software that are required to be downloaded and even cloud-based web editor. You will find all other documents like different project tutorials as well as many references for Arduino on this side. And information related to community like Project Hub or Arduino Day is also available. Once you click on the hardware and as you scroll down, you will be able to browse the full range of official Arduino products including boards, modules, shields, kits and Internet of Things boards that is IoT boards. Now once you click on Arduino Uno, you will get all technical information related to Arduino Uno. You can get an overview information about Arduino, the technical specifications which we discussed earlier in the video. In the documentation segment, you will get information related to the pin description of Arduino Uno, which was also discussed earlier. As Arduino Uno is an open source hardware, you can download the schematic of the board from this PDF link provided to you on the website. You can make your own board with the help of this schematic available on the website. Arduino Create is an integrated online platform that enables makers and professional developers to write code, access content, configure boards and share projects. First, go to arduino.cc in your web browser window. Click on sign in and to create a new account, click on create a new account. Type in your email ID, your username and your password as per the given policy. Next, select the privacy policy and click on sign up. You can now see below a notification to activate your account by going to your mail inbox. Go to your mail ID, open the email that requires verification of your account, click on Confirm now link to activate your account and now your profile is activated in the web editor of Arduino. 
Now go to Arduino.cc website. Click on sign in to log into your account with the credentials that you used to create an account. Now go to software and click on code online. As you click on that, the web editor interface opens. Let us quickly walk you through some of the main features and access buttons as you can see. This is the navigation bar which will help you to switch between Arduino create applications. If you wish to edit your profile, you can do that by clicking here. These two icons are used to verify and upload your code to the board. In this section, you can select your Arduino board that you connect to your computer and the board that is connected to it. Here, you can create a new sketch from the sketchbook panel to write the code in it or you can import a sketch from your computer. We also have other options like save, share, download for your sketch which are available here. You can also add serial monitor in your panel. Now to upload a sketch via USB port, make sure the agent is installed and running on this computer. Click on learn more. Now install the agent. The agent is nothing but a plugin which stands between a browser and a board that helps in directly uploading the code to the board from the browser itself. Click on start to download the plugins. If your system is 32-bit, click on Download for Win32 or else click on Download for Win64. Let it install entirely and now your plugin installer will also get downloaded. Once that gets downloaded, open it and follow the steps by clicking on Next. Accept the agreement and then again click next. Press yes and click next. Once the installation is finished, you will see an Arduino on the tray here. Now go to the web editor to start writing your code. Open example, code of blink. Verify the code and now select the Arduino board and the port of Arduino Uno. You can see that uploading of the code is done successfully for you now. You can also share your creations along with step-by-step -step guides, schematics, references and receive feedback from others. Now for programming Arduino, we will be using Arduino IDE. Let us look at how we can download Arduino IDE. You can open Google and type arduino.cc. When you reach the website, you go to software and download the latest version. If you have a Windows laptop, then you can click on Windows Win 7 and newer or else you can go for Mac or Linux. After that, you click on download. Your .exe file will be downloaded. Now proceed with the installation and please allow the driver installation process when you get a warning from the operating system. Choose the components to install. Choose the directory. Then the process will extract and install all the required files for proper execution of the Arduino software IDE. Once Arduino IDE is installed, click on the icon created on the desktop. When you open the software for the first time, 
you will find the IDE interface page for programming. The Arduino Integrated Development Environment or Arduino Software IDE contains a text editor for writing code, a message area, a text console, a toolbar with buttons for common functions and a series of menus. It connects to the Arduino hardware to upload programs and communicate with them. Programs written using Arduino software are called sketches. These sketches are written in the text editor and are saved with the file extension .ino. The editor has features for cutting, pasting and for searching or replacing text. The message area gives feedback while saving and exporting and also displays errors. When you go to file, you will find a lot of other commands like new, open, sketchbook, examples, etc. All the examples are structured in a tree that allows easy access to a given topic or the library. Then we have the edit section to use commands like undo, cut, copy, etc. for the selected text in the editor. In sketch, we have verify, compile or upload the code in the board. It also has an include library option. There are sensor libraries already pre-installed in this, but the ones that are not pre-installed can be installed. And once you install them, we can add them in include library section where add zip library is mentioned. Thus, all the commands of sensor are now embedded in Arduino. Under the tools section, the most important option is board and port. In board, you select the board that you're using. And in port, you get to know to which port the Arduino board is connected. Other commands are verify, which checks your code for errors while compiling it. Upload, that helps to compile your code and upload it to the configured board. New, you can create a new sketch using this. Open, presents a menu of all the sketches in your sketchbook. And save, saves your sketch command. Let us see some of the common syntax for writing a code in Arduino IDE. There are two functions. Void setup. It tells the hardware which pins will be used and if it will be used as input or output. Void loop. It runs the algorithm continuously and repeatedly until it has power supply. There are certain syntax which we use in the code. Pin mode. It is used to define if the pin is used for input or output. Digital read is used to read the status of the pin defined in the pin mode. Digital write is used to send output to a pin. Please make sure that Arduino ID is case sensitive so you use same syntax. Let's make one project. Let's write a code for a single LED blink project. And for making this, we need an LED, 1K resistor, Arduino Uno with A to B cable, a breadboard. Let's start making this project. First, mount Arduino Uno on the breadboard. Now, mount LED on breadboard and connect the negative pin that is the shorter leg of LED to the negative of the breadboard. Connect the positive end of LED that is the longer leg with 1K resistor. Connect the other pin of resistors with digital pin 13 of Arduino Uno. Now, connect common ground of breadboard with ground pin of Arduino Uno. You can use any of the digital pin of Arduino Uno. 
Now that the connections are done, we will open one LED Blink example code in Arduino IDE. Open Arduino IDE. Now go to File and then to Example. In Example, go to Basics and then to Blink. Inbuilt LED Blink code will open. For writing any code, first we need to initialize pin. In the circuit, we have connected LED at pin number 13, so we will initialize LED as 13. Also, for your information, there is already an inbuilt LED at pin number 13. Now in void setup, we need to define pin as input or output. And in void loop, we will write the main code for LED blink, which will lead to the LED glowing for one second and turning off at the next second. This process will continue in a loop. Now let us connect Arduino with our laptop or computer using USB A to B cable. For connecting the Arduino first, we need to select a board. For selecting board, first you go to Tools and then to Arduino AVR board. We will select an Arduino Uno board as we are using Arduino Uno in the circuit connection. Now we will select the port and then we will upload the code in Arduino Uno. Now you can see the LED is blinking with a 1 second delay. Now we will see how to connect the LED with any other digital pin. As you can see, here we are connecting the second terminal of the resistor with 9 number digital pin. In the coding part, we don't need to change the whole code. We just need to change the initialized pin number and the name in the previous code. LED blinking code with built-in LED. First, we will change the name of the initialized pin name with LED instead of LED underscore built-in because LED underscore built-in is a predefined function for built-in LED that is 13 number digital pin. After that, we will be changing the digital pin number to 9 number because we are connecting the LED with 9 number digital pin. Now let us connect Arduino with our laptop or computer using USB A to B cable. For connecting the Arduino first, we need to select a board. Now we will select the port and then we will upload the code in Arduino Uno. Now you can see the LED is blinking with a 1 second delay. The process of innovation using Arduino boards. The process of innovation using Arduino boards begins by Step 1. Identifying a problem statement. A problem statement helps to define the real problem in question and acts as a guiding statement for everyone working towards building a solution for it. It is important to identify the true problem and to frame it correctly. Step 2. Generating multiple ideas. This stage is the one where the technique of brainstorming works best. This step is crucial as it provides inputs from all stakeholders involved to find a possible solution to a problem. Step 3. Select potentially good idea. From all the possible solutions, this step helps to filter out the most probable solution that is practical to execute as well as solves the problem at hand. We also take into consideration the sustainability of the solution decided. Step 4. Execute the idea. At this step, the set solution is readied and is put into application for the problem that was decided. Step 5. Find solution to the problems. Once the applicable solution is given, this step determines whether there are any other problems faced during the execution of the design solution. Step 6. Feedback. This step is crucial as it gives a detailed feedback 
on the workability of the solution along with its sustainability. It gives a broader view in terms of the solution's effectiveness and long-term resistance to external factors. Let's see some of the application of Arduino boards. Arduino boards with their ability to read inputs like light on a sensor, finger on a button and turn it into output like activating a motor or turning on an LED are serving a variety of different purposes in varied sectors of the world. A lot of electronic hardware and software needed to build Arduino based applications and systems are available online, but you can focus on building your own projects in a shorter span of time. Students work on projects where solving problems related to different fields is involved. Some of these fields are Agritech, Automobile, Aquatic Life, Industry Innovation, Home Automation, Clean Energy, Education, Healthcare, Sustainable Cities, Clean Water and Sanitation. Did you know Arduino Uno uses a different USB chip which makes installation of the Arduino software a lot easier to do. The first widely distributed Arduino board, the Dicey Miller, was released in 2007. An incandescent lamp converts about 9-10% to of the energy fed to it into light, whereas an LED converts nearly 100% of the energy they consume as light. There is a nano satellite called the ArduSat that contains a set of Arduino boards and sensors which will be used for people's own creative purposes while they are in space. In 2005, building upon the work of Fernando Baragan, the creator of wiring, Massimo Banzi and David Quartelis created Arduino, an easy-to-use programmable device for interactive art design projects at the Interaction Design Institute Ivrea in Ivrea, Italy. Some frequently asked questions related to this topic are being shared with you along with the answers. 1. Which all operating systems are supported to use the web editor? The web editor is supported on Windows 10, Mac OS High Sierra, Ubuntu LTS version, and Chrome operating system. Question number two. The web editor is supported on which browsers? The web editor runs stable on the latest versions of Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and Safari. Let's come to the assignment. Make a project for a sequence of LED using Arduino Uno.